Events in the Red Sea really do highlight the need for sea to land capability. So today I can announce that in the future we'll be equipping our Royal Navy Type 26 and Type 31 frigates with land strike capability. The Royal Navy's Type 31 frigate, known as the Inspiration class, is undergoing a transformative upgrade with the integration of a land strike capability, primarily through the adoption of the Lockheed Martin Mark 41 vertical launch system. This enhancement, announced by UK Defense Secretary Grant Shapps in May 2024, positions the Type 31 as a multi-role warship capable of precision strikes against land targets, significantly expanding its strategic utility. The choice of missiles for this VLS is pivotal, with three primary candidates under consideration, the BGM-109 Tomahawk, the Kongsberg Naval Strike Missile, NSM, and the future cruise anti-ship weapon, FCASW being developed by MBDA. Each missile offers unique capabilities, aligning with the Royal Navy's goal to enhance lethality and flexibility in response to evolving global threats, such as those observed in the Red Sea conflict involving Houthi missile and drone attacks. This video explores these candidate missiles, their features, and their potential impact on the Type 31's operational effectiveness, reflecting the Royal Navy's ambition to maintain a cutting-edge maritime force. The BGM-109 Tomahawk, a proven long-range cruise missile, is a leading contender for the Type 31's Mark 41 VLS. With a range exceeding 1,000 miles, the Tomahawk, already deployed on Royal Navy Astute class submarines, enables deep strikes against high-value land targets, such as command centers or infrastructure, with subsonic speed and precision guidance. Its versatility is enhanced by variants like the Block 5 which offers improved navigation and potential anti-ship capabilities, making it suitable for both land and maritime targets. The Tomahawk's integration into the Mark 41 VLS would allow the Type 31 to project power far inland, supporting joint operations or deterring adversaries in regions like the Indo-Pacific. However, its high cost and the need for significant structural modifications to accommodate the Mark 41's 32-cell configuration pose challenges potentially impacting the frigate's delivery timeline, currently set for 2027 for HMS Venturer. Despite these hurdles, the Tomahawk's established track record and compatibility with allied systems, particularly the U.S. Navy, make it a strong candidate for enhancing the Type 31 strategic reach. The Kongsberg Naval Strike Missile NSM, is another compelling option, offering a shorter range of approximately 100 to 185 miles but excelling in multi-role capabilities. Designed primarily as an anti-ship missile, the NSM features an advanced electro-optical infrared seeker and autonomous target recognition, enabling precise strikes against naval and land targets. Its stealthy design and sea-skimming flight profile make it difficult to intercept enhancing the Type 31's ability to engage coastal defenses or enemy vessels in contested littoral environments. The NSM's lighter footprint compared to the Tomahawk could simplify integration into the Type 31's modular design, reducing costs and retrofitting complexity. Already selected by Allied navies like Norway and Poland, the NSM aligns with the Type 31's export variants, potentially streamlining logistics and interoperability. Its limitation lies in its shorter range, which restricts the frigate's ability to strike deep inland targets, but its affordability and dual-purpose functionality make it a practical choice for enhancing the Type 31's versatility in maritime and nearshore operations. The FCAS-W, a next-generation cruise and anti-ship missile under development by MBDA for the UK and France, represents a forward-looking option for the Type 31. Expected to enter service in the late 2020s, the FCAS-W aims to replace aging systems like the Harpoon and Exocet, offering a range of several hundred miles and advanced stealth and targeting capabilities. Designed to counter both ships and land targets, it incorporates cutting-edge technology to penetrate sophisticated air defenses, making it ideal for future high-intensity conflicts. However, 
Its developmental status introduces uncertainty, as timelines may not align with the Type 31's initial operational capability. The missile's potential integration into the Mark 41 VLS would future-proof the frigate, ensuring adaptability to emerging threats. The FKSW's dual-role design aligns with the Type 31's multi-mission profile, but its unproven status and likely high costs raise questions about affordability, especially given the Royal Navy's budget constraints and competing priorities, such as the Type 26 frigate program. The integration of land strike capabilities was critical to the Red Sea conflict due to the escalating Houthi attacks on international shipping, which disrupted 12% of global commerce through the Suez Canal by October 2024. The Houthis' use of advanced Iranian and Russian-supplied missiles and drones, including hydrogen fuel cell-powered systems, posed a significant threat to maritime security, reducing shipping traffic by 55%, and necessitating a robust naval response. Missiles like the BGM-109 Tomahawk, with its 1,000-mile range, the Kongsberg Naval Strike Missile's multi-role precision, and the future FKSW's advanced targeting capabilities enabled the Type 31 to counter these threats by striking Houthi land-based infrastructure, such as command centers and missile launch sites, from a safe distance. This capability was vital for deterring further attacks, protecting critical trade routes, and supporting coalition operations like Prosperity Guardian, as airstrikes alone proved insufficient to halt Houthi aggression, highlighting the strategic necessity of sea-based land strike options to restore stability in the region. The integration of these candidate missiles into the Type 31's Mark 41 VLS will significantly enhance its operational impact, transforming it from a general-purpose frigate into a potent strike platform. The Tomahawk offers unmatched range for strategic deterrence, the NSM provides cost-effective multi-role flexibility, and the FKSW promises future-proofed versatility. The Type 31's Tacticos Combat Management System and Thales NS-110 radar will integrate these missiles, ensuring precise targeting and enhanced situational awareness. Economically, the program supports the UK's national shipbuilding strategy, with Babcock's £65 million capability insertion period contract boosting jobs at Rosyth. Strategically, it strengthens the Royal Navy's global presence, particularly in forward-deployed regions. However, challenges such as retrofitting costs, estimated at £317 million per ship, and potential delays, highlight the need for careful resource allocation. Ultimately, the choice of missile will shape the Type 31's role as a cornerstone of the Royal Navy's modernized fleet, balancing immediate needs with long-term strategic goals.